morning so we're out here at the uh, farm project and today we are going to have fish delivered we're gonna have fish stocking today so I'm talk a little bit about that we'll talk a little bit about pricing and I've done it this is the second way I've done it so uh, I'll give you my opinion about the best way to actually do this process too uh, a few months ago the po whole pond stocking thing is kind of new to us so I've been doing research on it and research on it. And there are companies out there that drive around the US and they have certain stops, like they'll stop at a True Value Hardware here and they'll be here from 10 a.m. to 12 or 1 p.m. And you place your order ahead of time for your fish and then uh, you go pick them up. They put them in bags with oxygen, then you transport them, put them here, I was not that impressed with that service. Number one, the fish were really tiny. I mean, the, the fish were like tiny, tiny. Number two, we had probably about a 20% kill rate, even though we did the right procedure. We, we acclimated them and everything else. Um, we had about 20% of them die off that we could see almost right away. So that wasn't that good. And price, price was not that great. So what I'm, I guess what I'm saying now is the best way to do this pond stocking is to find a pond stalker that's as close to you as possible, probably is what's gonna work out best. I called a couple of their companies all around the US and they'll come out and they'll deliver, but they have like a $2,000 minimum, then they have a $600 trip charge, uh, travel charge, and it's like, dude, I don't, I'm not spending three grand to stock, stock my pond. So I found Edges Aquatic Services. Now they're local to Georgia and they service the Georgia area. And they think they have uh, free, there's free, as long as you order a thousand dollars worth of fish, the delivery is free. And so that worked out perfect. So I'm getting a little bit larger. I'm getting bluegill and a few bass. So I think we'll get probably close to 700 bluegill and maybe one or 200 bass. Bass aren't cheap. You know, you got three to four inch bass, they're more expensive, and then a little bit larger, two to three inch bluegills. So we're gonna have this stock. Now, why am I stocking? When we first got the property, the place was loaded with fish, but then I went away for two months uh, and duckweed moved in. This entire pond was green <laughs> and we had a fish kill. Ryan came down here, he said, dude, I got some bad news. And he took some pictures and we had a whole bunch of dead bluegill all around, floating all around. So we're gonna restock and usually fall and spring is the time you do that. That's the time of year to do it. Unfortunately for us, we're in the middle of a drought. We haven't had a significant rainfall. This is going on almost eight weeks. So the pond is way down. Fortunately, I have a big pond. I have a three acre pond here. So it shouldn't be a problem, but uh, it's just, man, we need some rain. So they're gonna show up today. They're gonna bring the fish They'll deliver it again, free delivery. It was probably the best value I could find. Um, for about a thousand bucks, we're getting this stocked. I think it's, I would just want to say it's about seven or 800 bluegill and one or 200 bass. I can't remember the exact number. So that's actually a good deal. Fishies are here. So basically you have a tank, you have oxygen running to it. <laughs> Let's see how we're gonna do this. He doesn't have a tube today. It's actually pretty cool though. This is, uh, here's your oxygen flow right here. And that goes into your tanks, aerators. Here come the fishies. reach in and grab one.
last time it was it was pretty bad last time yeah the fish were so tiny and we had to transport them we dumped them in here and i'd say a good 20 percent died immediately yeah in five minutes these they were so lively yeah. <laughs> i mean and they're gone dude i mean you put them in the water they're gone I and mean, these were five times the size of the ones we got last time yeah in a, in a good way so here's my invoice and we got a 900 bluegill for $720, 30 bass. The bass are expensive because these are four to six inch bass. And uh, that was two, about 200 bucks. So you get a thousand dollar order, free delivery. And now we're stocked up. We might do another stocking probably in the spring. Maybe just bluegill is probably what we'll do. Yeah. I mean, the convenience of that was worth it though. Versus driving out, having to worry about transferring them, keeping them in the bags. Yeah, it was, it was a pain in the butt, <laughs> to be honest. We had to schedule it, we had to be over there. And then they had to call in the credit card <laughs> while we were waiting. <laughs> this was easy, this was yeah, this was This was great. Hey guys, so that was my fish stocking day. Uh, you know, I wanna give a shout out to a company if they do a good job and they did a great job. Edges Aquatic Services, now they service the Georgia area. Um, the driver gave me a call, said, I'll be, I'm on my way, I'll be there in 45 minutes. They showed up, the fish were phenomenal. They were healthy, well taken care of, lively. As soon as you put them in the water, they're gone. We watched for quite a while, we didn't see any dead fish. So I'm thrilled with them. Again, my recommendation is, is try and find someone local that can bring them out, deliver them, and be reasonable. For a thousand bucks, free delivery, I'm very satisfied. Talk to you later, Doc. Mm -hmm.